but I don't know what I'm doing. You know, Chuck just Chuck. Chuck don't. Chuck ain't got no skills. Chuck just does a bunch of crappy yards. But somehow, some way, I don't know how. I'm about to ask him. That damn Chuck is getting in, getting in. They cut good? Yeah, they cut really good. You can tell. I mean, they're saving it down. So look, uh, she wants, she says something about she wants these, she wants these cut lower. These? Yeah. And all, she said all the ones in front of the front porch. We got the one done, and the other one's just right up the street here. Yeah, man. Yeah, about time to cut that. But y'all saw the little tree trimming. Uh, I'll get that. I'll get that job. I'll sell that to her, man. She. I mean, every every winter, she usually has me do something outside the box. A couple thousand dollar job uh, or whatever, you know. And we're right here by the bamboo site and everything. There's a couple things at the bamboo site that I could use the man lift for too. So I would take the man lift there and into the bamboo site, which is right here. So, and we'll turn, you know, uh, but I don't have, you know, like, it's hard to run the man lift like you would a lawnmower because, well, I don't have as many tree trimming customers, uh, you know. I ought to go to the HOA here and, and trim these trees. These trees right here need trimming bad. Uh, you know, going into the entrance there. Here, just, just, we just touch them up. Uh, she gives me 50 bucks. And all I do is just go across the top of them and blow it out into the yard. That's all I do. Uh, they're not really that bad today. But she, she don't care nothing about them being blooming and none of that. She wants them cut. So it's going to be my first time using the new uh, hedge trimmers. So, yeah. Now, these are pretty nice, man. Uh, yeah, dude. Look at them, man. Nice, man. And I put a little oil on, on the tip, too, so... I'm gonna lube it up a little bit, man. Okay, y'all, so here's another job uh, that I picked up today. Uh, this is my regular customer. Y'all know I've been doing this probably for quite a while. Uh, it's one of the first jobs I did when I had the, when I bought the man lift. I trimmed all these trees, made, made a few thousand dollars over here. Uh, but uh, this, she just came to me. She said, look, well, how much will you charge me to rip out all this right here behind the house, everything? You, uh, take it out and uh, take it to the woods, right? You go outside that gate right there and then she got a bunch of woods back here. I told her $1,500, man. I'll bring the bobcat over here in one morning and do that. Yeah. 
I could do that in one morning with this bobcat. We're talking about dig it out. I ain't talking about, well, hey, I'm a Zagas, man. You need to just come. No. She wants to pull everything out. Everything. Don't matter. She said, I don't care. I want all the stuff off the house uh, dug up. So, the only thing that's going to be left there or the freaking is the deck. How long do y'all think it would take me with the bobcat to do that? And also, there's a, a old dogwood out in the front that I'll uh, take to the woods for too. And any other dead tree, little tree that I might see. Uh, but she agreed to 1500 for that. I mean, people are spending money out here, y'all. It's just, you gotta have the equipment and stuff to do it. Now, I could make 15, I could make money with that, doing that by hand for 1500, but you're not gonna dig it out. And all. I mean, you could if you had three or four guys that I don't have, I guess you could. Uh, but the bobcat, me and Zach come over here with the bobcat one day, and uh, just uh, as soon as some of the, the, the lawns start dying down, and uh, yeah, and the lawns are going to start dying down here in the next, uh, you know, three or four weeks. I mean, they're already not as, not as, you know, uh, bad as they were a month ago, especially the Bermuda grass and stuff. But uh, that's another good job. So. Uh, I, and I sent a text message to the lady on the last uh, property, the first property we did this morning, where those trees need trimming. I, I did. Uh, I sent her a text message. Uh, my phone's in the truck, so uh, I don't know if she's responded yet. But that'll be another, you know, eight or nine hundred dollar job. Uh, she may want to add some stuff to. A lot of times, the homeowners they they, you know, they don't realize what. Uh, well what's going on while the grass ain't growing real good and then when you when they find out that you need to trim this tree and that tree then they want to say well hell if you're going to come over here with that and you're going to charge me then go on and do this this and that too and that's a lot and that's kind of what i what i'll get into over here i figure i'll be over here about four hours with the bobcat this won't take an hour y'all the bobcat will rip this shit out and uh take it to the woods and an hour or less i'm talking about dig it up yeah y'all so yeah look at all these old classic cars man well, i don't know if they're all classic but they're old and they they, they whoa i don't know but i gotta get back to it y'all There's two of them here, so uh, that's three hundred dollars that we just got right here in an hour and a half. So three hundred plus the eighty, eleven o'clock. Uh, now we got a uh, hundred and twenty-one. We're going to do now, which is right next to the HOA. So, so the HOA will be. Uh, well, that's 500 this is the one we do monthly so we'll be at what 380 480 plus the hoa uh it's 500 so that's uh 980 we'll be at today hey i can live with it man one of my customers that's a monthly you know that's why i didn't get the invoice you know Damn, man. So they pay me 120 to do the regular lawn, and I'll get a video on the way out. But they pay me another 120 to cut this. So yeah so i'm gonna go on and cut it today and uh well they've already paid me they gave me uh she paid me in cash uh well they pay in cash every time i come as soon as i get here they they come outside they pay me 
and uh, she uh, she gave me two hundred forty dollars. Uh, and I'm gonna cut this, and we're, we're done with the regular yard part, and that's all this right here. And I, I'm behind this tree, so I'm finna hang the camera up right here. But uh, so Zach and the HOA is well, this is the HOA. We're in the HOA that we're gonna be doing today. So the HOA where we're parked to cut the HOA is right outside the gate over here. So uh, Zach's gonna blow this one off and be done with this main yard here. I'm gonna cut this. Zach's gonna go on and go get started on the HOA. So that's what we're that's where we're at, y'all. That's a quick 240 right here. So I got that one done. Uh, you know, Zach uh, is already starting on HOA. I'm gonna go over here now. Uh, and it's right here. I mean, it's like, I mean, <laughs> I really could actually park the mower, the truck at the HOA and come over here and do this property. And this is the HOA while I, while I busted that water line back a month or so ago, uh, two months ago, whatever. Uh, Shouldn't have no problem uh, getting done today. Probably right around two, but I added another $120 on to the money that I didn't know that I was gonna get. Um, so that's gravy, baby. Uh, I'm hoping that the GoPro picked up some of the mowing footage. Uh, I changed the bit rate on it, so maybe we can get some clearer, clearer, clearer images or whatever. Hopefully the spray worked pretty good from the last time. We was there. Maybe today this other HOA, the one that's adjoining the one we're on now. The one we're on now is a monthly. We just do it once a month. Uh, but it really, I thought it would be really bad, but it's not been that bad because a lot of the homeowners are cutting their own. I like it because I can fly through what they're cutting. So I got a call from the uh, from the commercial guy that sent me and Zach to do that little cleanup last week, and. Uh, He's loving it. He loved what we did, and I, and I was not even uh, really done. Uh, I I felt like we could have spent, you know, uh, another well another four or five hours over there. Uh, but he was super happy. He says, "Man, it looks so much better, guy." I said, "Well, you know, uh, well, I didn't cut everything that we talked about." He says, I, "I know." He said, "But man, it looks so good. Let's let, let's just." Uh, go on and get through the, the hot part of the year and then you know because he's not renting it yet so uh, it's gonna be a month before they rent it so uh, there'll be a lot of work over there leaves and everything there's a lot of trees but anyway I got to get to it y'all I'll kick it yeah, man that's a wrap man we did we did pretty good today man uh, right at a thousand dollars a little bit more than a thousand that's worth it. That's worth it. Two thirty right now, and we got all this work done. So I just got a call from the uh, uh, the bamboo site, the owner over there. Uh, he said he's got about four or five days of work over there at least. So yeah, soon as I get time, uh, and the work ain't going nowhere. So I've done picked up quite a bit of work for the winter. Quite a bit of work, and the good thing about it, the, the work, the kind of work that I pick up, I, I I get to keep most of the money, 
I mean, it ain't like, you know, a $5,000 job and I got to pay four people and, you know, and I got to buy, you know, mulch or anything. This is all just because I got the equipment. And that's all it is. It's just running the equipment. Uh, I don't have to spend my money on it, nothing but fuel. So, I feel pretty, yeah, I feel pretty good about it, man. I'm going to check my mail. Uh, I just ordered me a Sammy, but that's how close I am to the HOA, right up the street from the house. So I'm going to check my mailbox uh, on the way over to pick up my sandwich. Okay, let's see. Junk. Rora. There it is, y'all. I said, there it is. Rolling the dice and doing that job this weekend, boy. Might have paid off. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. There's one of them. Let's see if we got another one. Let's see, gonna be going, they're going to start being some confusion. See, there's only one check. See, man? I am I am just about over. Yeah. Hey, Scott, this is Ray, the landscaper over here at the Lost Sheet. Hey, Ray, the landscaper at Lost Sheet. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on, man? So, I got one of the checks. I didn't get two checks. I got, got the, one of them? Yeah, I got one check, and it, and it said it's on for 9-1. So that would cover August, but I so haven't got me a picture of that check with the check number on it so that I can see the, which one that was uh, and follow up on the other. Okay, I'll do that. So Let's the other one would be for it. July. Right, right, yeah. So shoot me a picture of that. Let me see uh, what the status is on the second. Man. Sir, I'll get it straight. I promise you that. You won't go unpaid. I'll get this fixed. I know, man. I just, I ain't used to it, dog. <laughs> I know, I know. I ain't used to it either. I don't have this problem usually, so I appreciate you. All right, man. All right, thanks. Yeah. Well, I'm halfway happy. I, I mean, I think, dude, I think they're going to pay me, man. I, I, I never not thought they were going to pay me. I just, I just don't like to do business like this, man. That's all. I mean, I, I'm just not used to that kind of thing. But y'all can see how it's kind of a headache, right? I mean, well, right, you're just crying about for nothing. Well, I mean, you call it whatever you want to, man. But you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's a headache, man. It's just, it's, it's stuff that, that is avoidable. It's like having a flat tire on a lawnmower. You know, it's a headache. It ain't gonna bank, make bankrupt me, but it's a headache. That's why I got twills. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's that same. You know, you're sucking my damn time. You know, sucking my damn thought process and all that there so i got another man this is crazy man i got another text message about some more work uh, this is in uh it's a lawn they want somebody to start doing it regular uh it's already an existing customer uh, and they got another property so what we would do is we would add it to the route that it's closest to, which would be Friday's route. I'll go home, I got the address, uh, and this is one that the Zach Attack actually uh, got for us. Uh, well, we ain't got it yet. I wanna look at it and make sure that it's something that, you know, where, where it's at, and it's something that we can uh, actually, you know, do and make money or whatever. And that's the way, you know, that's the way it's been the last, you know, four or five weeks. It's been where I'm just getting um, work after work after work after work, you know. And I know that, you know, people think, well, I ain't got enough work to keep me and Zach busy. I got, I got more than enough work to keep me and Zach busy. That's why do you think we're having to work uh, pretty regular and pretty, uh, you know, like, like every day. Well, you only work until 2 33 o'clock it's three now and i ain't got home yet i don't want to work any later than that I, like i said in previous videos man uh i'm not short on work and i'm not even 
reaching out and trying to get work. I got jobs just falling in my lap left and right because I've been in business so long, and a lot of and I know a lot of people because I nurture relationships. You, you know, that's what I do. you can nurture relationships, you ain't got to be the best landscape or the best lawn guy, the best tree guy, the best anything. You could just uh, be okay. And if you got, you know, relationships that you've nurtured for years and years, then they ain't going to call nobody else. And if anybody asks them, they're going, because it ain't that I'm such a great landscaper. It's that I, it's the fact that I do what I say I'm going to do. That's in a nutshell. I'm known as, you know, uh, as an upstanding guy. I mean, I mean, I don't, you know, even though, I, you know, a lot of the videos y'all see me in this form or that form, but at the end of the day, people that know me, they had rather, even if, even if I'm not even the one doing the work, they had rather hire me to take care of it. Whatever, man. If you want to damn hire somebody else to do it, whatever. I've gotten a lot of jobs just like that. I get calls all the time. Hey, do you know a good pine straw guy? Do you know a good, uh, you know, uh, fertilizer guy? Do you know, you know, a good tree guy? Do you know, I mean, you know, I, I get it all the time. All the time. Daily. And I'm not advertising. I'm ducking calls, like I said a couple weeks ago. I'm ducking work. Because I ain't got no freaking help, and I'm not trying to hire nobody right now. So, and the work that I'm getting, it ain't the type of work that's strangers. All the work that I'm getting, from the yards to the bobcat to the tree trimming jobs I showed y'all today to the, to the pulling out all them bushes over there that I showed y'all earlier today, all of these are people that know me, that that are, that that are my customers now. So they know I don't have to haggle about money or nothing. <laughs> you know, it's a big deal. I don't have to go look at it and give them a price. It's a big deal. But I don't know what I'm doing. You know, Chuck just Chuck. Chuck don't. Chuck ain't got no skills. Chuck just does a bunch of crappy yards. But somehow, some way, I don't know how, I'm about to ask him. That damn Chuck is getting in, getting in. And it doesn't look like it's falling off none. Three jobs today, man lift and bobcat work. Three of them today, before three o'clock. And one, another lawn. I'm just saying, man, that it's... Yeah. The Chuck ain't nothing nice, man. Not nothing nice out here, man. We'll just hold the Bobcat in the, in the, in the building until uh, the lawns free up. And then I'll be able to keep all the money. All the money. You know how hard it would be, you know, to hire somebody right now to do the lawn care for me to be able to um, let the lawn care go to a couple of guys. People come in the comments that like, well, just hire, just, just hire. Where, where the hell are you hiring people from, dude? The lawns are going to be done. I mean, hell, each lawn might get two or three more cuts at the most, man. By the time I go through the rigors of training somebody, if you find somebody that'll come to work, I mean, that's that's you know, it just kills me that 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 everybody's favorite freaking thing to say is, "Well, just hire somebody." Just, you need to hire you need to hire somebody. No joke, no joke, man. I'm glad you come up with that, dude, because, man, I don't know what I'd do without all these geniuses. Where are you going to hire somebody from? Oh, you think you're going to get a quality person to come out here and work 
in August or September when the lawn care is fixing to die down. And then I usually take time off too, uh, you know, for the uh, in the winter time because you know I'm working all the time for like eight months, nine months straight, all the time. If it ain't raining, I'm working. And then the lawn's gonna dry up. So what can I offer somebody? Say I find the, the cream of the crop, right? You get lucky and find, find the cream of the crop guy. He wants to work, he needs, you know, he needs 40 hours a week or 30 hours a week. He needs seven, eight hundred dollars a week. That's what he needs. So I hire him. Working great, great. And then, and I hire him to do the lawns. That's what I'm hiring for, to do the lawns so I can do bobcat work. But then the lawn care ends in a month. What do I do then? Just tell him, I, well, I, I guess I don't have no work for you, buddy. Because we're not cutting grass no more. If I go on the notion that a lot of the guys that are saying in the comments, get somebody else to do the lawn care and you do the bobcat work. Okay. But you see my dilemma, right? I've never really been able to uh, have more than one guy last throughout the winter. Never. And I don't really see it changing this year either. I was gonna, I mean, I was gonna uh, give it a shot with Francisco, but y'all saw how that worked out. I'm not gonna, I would have offered, I would have, I would have kept Francisco on all winter. And then we would have generated work as, you know, I would have, I would have put some feelers out for some work. I would have called a few customers uh, if I'd have ran low on work. But I don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why people think that I don't have enough work. Do I, do I give off that vibe? I got a lot of work, man. A lot of work. The, the, the bad thing is it's only me. Okay, back to, oh, you need to hire somebody, right? I know. <laughs> no joke. That's just, that's a nominal, you know, that's, that's a, what a brain teaser that is. Wow, I'd have never thought of that. <laughs> Stupid shit. So my bobcat, my man live, y'all see they're sitting in that nice building back there, got a fan on them and everything. They're resting up, getting ready for uh, their turn in the business, and then the lawnmowers can take a break. They're, wait, they're waiting on their turn, right? They're saying all summer long, they've been saying, put me in, coach, put me in. And I put them in every now and then during the summer. But they finna be starters by another three weeks. We're gonna slowly migrate into bobcat work and man lift work. And we won't be working every day either, not with the bobcat and man lift. But with that type of equipment, you don't have to work every day. You can work three days a week and psh, and make damn six, seven thousand dollars, you know. But that's just my side hustle. Chuck got a hell of a side hustle, y'all. Chuck got a hell of a side hustle. But it's Sammy time, y'all. I'm gonna go in here and sit on the couch, uh, jump on, jump in the pool, sit on the couch, eat my Sammy, pet my, pet my dog. Deuces.